professors can't be looking a mess, okay? <laughs> What's up everybody? Oh, welcome back to my channel. It's Julia right here. We're about to do a get ready with me. And the first thing we need to do is this hair. So let's get into so it. So our skincare is already done, hence my glowy, glowy face. But I need some music before we do our hair. I just want to put my hair in a um a braid so we look a little put together, you know? Let me get my music. I have combination skin but I feel like throughout the day my skin gets like real shiny and oily so I just find that this helps so oh my gosh so let's talk I filmed a get ready with me on the first day of school but I completely hated how it looked y'all like I, I hated it now I'm going in with my concealer I literally got three hours of sleep last night. But anywho, so I film I Get Ready With Me annually. I film it every single year for the first day of school. And I filmed it, y'all, this is year eight. Year eight in education. I'm what they call a veteran right now, period. I am a vet in the education field. But y'all, I filmed I Get Ready With Me on the first day of school i completely hated it i hated how everything turned out my hair my makeup like the video i hated everything so i was like i am not posting this absolutely anywhere and so that was two weeks ago <laughs> 
And I was like, you know what? I want my first video when I come back to be a get ready with me. And I'm gonna talk about my job and education and updates. And so, like I said, this is year eight for me. And it took me eight whole years, y'all, to reach my goal, my career goal. And so my goal, as y'all know, most of y'all know watching my channel, my career goal has always been to be a professor. Like, that's all I knew was <clears throat> become a professor. Um, I kind of feel like I should have did my eyebrows first. We're gonna come back to that. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my handy dandy everyday foundation and just set that over my concealer I just did to brighten it up. So yeah, it took me eight years to get to where I am today. And I am, the new position that I have, I am the dual credit instructor for HCC, but also on a high school campus. Now the difference is, cause I've seen like dual credit teachers, but they usually teach like at least a regular class, like an on level class or like a honors, an AP, something like that. They teach something like that in conjunction with the dual credit. I am solely the dual credit English teacher. And so that just feels like really amazing because I'm legit a professor. Y'all like the kids be calling me professor and everything. So I teach um, 1301 and 2322, which 1301 is juniors and 2322 is seniors. <sighs> I cannot believe I am a freaking professor. Like, I just, I cannot believe it. Um, now I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury. I love this, but the packaging, I saw somebody talking about the packaging. The packaging is horrible. Like, it is so messy. Like, it's, it's a hot mess. I don't know why they thought this was cute, this packaging, but mm, no. Um, anyways, <laughs> so the thing is though, like, even though I'm still like in a high school setting, I, like I work on the high school campus, but I completely work for HCC. So it's crazy because like, Everything I do, like my trainings and everything is HCC. The grade book is HCC. Like everything is HCC and I just, I'm amazed. Like, I don't know, I just never thought like I would be in this position. So like I still have the high school schedule, which is good. So like, you know, I'm off on the weekends. I'm seven to three, but I'm a professor. I keep saying that because it's just like so surreal to me. Like I really cannot believe that I'm a professor. Um, I'm still in school. We finished our semester last year, or last year, girl, what am I talking about? We finished our semester in the summer and I did not end up with what I wanted, like the grades that I wanted. I finished with an A in, um, What's her name? Virginia Woolf, which I didn't think I was gonna get an A in that class. The whole class was literally the studies of Virginia Woolf. And then I got a high B, a freaking B plus, literally a 89. So mad about that. In post-colonial literature. And then in my last class, which was Native American literature, I got a 83, which is just a regular old B. And I'm saying that because like I was so disappointed in myself, y'all. I was so hard on myself with school. Like I legit wanted to get all A's, but like the last two weeks of school, I just got really lazy. So it ain't nobody fault but mine. I got so lazy and like one assignment I didn't even turn in the Native American class, which is why I got the 83. But hey, I still passed, so I guess that's good. <laughs> As y'all can see, we need our eyebrows done. But y'all, this weekend is my mama and daddy's 40th vow renewal. And it is completely not a vow renewal, it's a wedding. They are getting remarried, like a full on recreation. They have their original bridesmaids, their original groomsmen, like the original flower girls. They're obviously adults now, but 
like they literally are recreating their wedding which is so cool the fact that everybody who was originally except for like a few of my uncles two of my uncles died and so they're not in the wedding their sons are but i just think that is so cool like for my mom and daddy to be recreating their wedding from 40 years ago like huh that's crazy they got married in 1983 so yeah i am my girl's maid of honor i've never been a maid of honor and i'm excited i just am so excited so i said all that to say i grew my eyebrows out for the last two months so they would be like super super crisp and fresh for the wedding which is saturday i'm so excited and of course of course i'm vlogging so yeah, I didn't want my first video to come back and be a vlog. I wanted it to be a sit down video and to talk to y'all about updates and just, you know, everything that's going on in my life. And the biggest update is obviously me being a professor and reaching my professional goal. When I tell y'all on the first day of school, matter of fact, the first week of school, I was exhausted. So last year, quick update. Last year, y'all know I was a literacy coach and I worked for the district. And so, like, I would hop around. My freedom and my schedule, like, I legit did what I wanted. I hopped around. I would sit in my office. I had an office on um, both campuses. <gasps> Girl, what? Why y'all ain't tell me that was out? Why y'all ain't tell me that was out? Now I got a body pin that. Girl, what is that? Not me going to school looking like a mess. Professors can't be looking a mess, okay? <laughs> It's so funny too because like <laughs> my boss calls me professor and she be so serious. She's like, Professor Gray? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> my girl really be calling me professor. It's this little piece too. Let's slick it out. That my yell edge control is not as strong as this. So let me use this to get this information. Okay back to our makeup <laughs> so when i tell y'all that first week i was exhausted like i've never been so tired in my life and i just i haven't been used to i guess being on my feet that much i forgot for a year like what it felt like to go from period to period to period and so that's the thing too like on the high school campus the classes are you know, I mean, I'm following a bell schedule, not like a, I do follow like Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. I do follow that. So I technically only teach two days a week, but y'all, it's still seven periods. So I teach seven classes, seven periods. And then my very last period is my off period, my conference period, which is eighth period. But surprise surprise i'm also the department chair the english department chair and so when i'm off i have to go sit in plc and facilitate plc so i legit work eight periods i don't have a break i do not have a break i don't technically have like a, a planning period and so you're gonna be tired okay i think our blush looks good it's gonna kind of fade I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow. Just a smidgen, not a lot. I'm gonna use my bronzer like I always use. Um, What else has been going on? Except for me just being like completely exhausted from work. <laughs> I am starting back school this week as well. So I have a very busy week. Of course I'm blogging. I got the trip to pack four. Um, I have to do like all of my maintenance. I have to get my eyebrows done. I have to do my lashes. I have to get my nails um, together. Y'all know I'm gonna do my nails myself. Um, what else? I have to pack, of course. So yeah, this week is like all about maintenance. I also have a doctor's appointment this week. I have two meetings after work this week. So I'm just like gonna be a really busy, busy bee this week. <sighs> but the vlogs are back. I'm also not gonna lie to y'all. I would be 
just not myself if I was to lie to y'all. So I'm gonna be very, very honest. I legit contemplated quitting YouTube. And I know I say that a lot. I'm also supposed to put like a little bit of green. I don't know why. I just feel like vanilla green. I don't know. I just feel like it's gonna make my eyes pop. So I contemplated very heavily. That's also why I took the, the break. I contemplated very heavily on quitting YouTube altogether. And I wasn't gonna announce it, I just was gonna stop posting. I wasn't gonna say anything, I wasn't gonna announce it on Instagram, YouTube. I wasn't gonna make a whole sit down video about why I need to quit, none of that, like none of that attention. I just was gonna stop. And I thought about it and I'm like, why would you stop? What, like what's keeping you from going? And the only thing that stopped me or what made me wanna stop is me not growing. And I feel like that's nobody's fault but mine. So I can't be mad at nobody. It's like, you're quitting, but you, are you putting in everything, every single effort that you possibly can? And I don't post on Instagram, so I need to do that. Like all of the people that I follow and um, like look up to on YouTube, they post their videos on Instagram. And so I need to start doing that. And maybe, I don't know, I might get an extra view or two or gain a subscriber, you never know. And so I just feel like I haven't exhausted all of my energy and effort into trying to make this channel work. So I'm here and I'm gonna do my best to be a very consistent and not worry about like the content. I feel like, not say not to worry about the content, but I feel like I just was posting the same thing, but like that's my life. That's me. And so I'm gonna just start getting more into my career in education and talk about those things because that's who I am. And I try to veer off that, veer off that path, if that makes sense. I'm gonna put a little bit underneath. So yeah, we're back baby. And I got the videos popping. I've already filmed two videos and so I just feel like if I am consistent and plan like ahead, film ahead of time, I'll always have a video to post. That makes sense too. So I'm gonna just like pull out my braid a little. I like when my braid look a little messy. I feel like it looks more natural. Y'all know I be trying to make fake hair pads is real. <laughs> this is my real hair. It grew overnight. So I hope that y'all are ready for the channel to be popping again. My plan is to post two times a week and whether the videos are short or long, I have to post two times a week. So I'm getting back to my, my old schedule of posting twice a week and I'm back baby. I just want to update y'all. Me and the boo are still doing good. That's still my man. I still got a boyfriend. I cannot believe I have a boyfriend. Like it's been almost six months. I have a boyfriend. Like. <laughs> what but yeah i just wanted to update y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for all the videos to come my posting schedule is gonna be what it always was which is sunday and wednesday so stay tuned for all of the videos stay tuned for the new orleans vlog for the you know the wedding stay tuned for me going out the next weekend which is labor day y'all i'm going to dc to visit my best friend Ayla. so i got the vlogs coming i have so much content coming for y'all make sure you like comment subscribe let me know what else y'all want to see from me because i'm back and i'm about to do a quick lip and i'm getting out of here because i think i'm late You where I've been. Okay, the makeup is done. I put my earrings on and I put a little bit of like mousse on my hair. So I am ready for the day. Make sure again, y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all very soon.